Good evening, everyone. This is Yun Huifang. Thank you for your listening. Here are my group members: Shalipa, Smita, Rahul, and Jessica. First of all, I would like to introduce the agenda of our project. We are going to cover these parts to go further discuss our topic. I will be talking about introduction part and objective part. First, what is Twitter? Twitter is social networking and micro、uh, blogging website. It is an excellent platform to engage users and communicate directly. Tweets can be used to express opinions, moods, and sentiments. Besides, tweets can help users to know about brand and or competition. Based on our research, sources of enormous data from up to 336 millions of active users. It's quite a huge amount. For what and how to analyze? Analyze real-time Twitter data with big data technology by using Hadoop is our strategy. First, we load the semi-structured structured type of t-、uh, Twitter data received from Twitter streaming API in Hadoop system. Then we use Flume to collect and move data in HDFS, which is Hadoop distributed field system, and then in turn using Hadoop to translate and analyze the data. The case we use is the YouTube tweets to, tweets analysis,、uh, which define people using keywords like YouTube to upload a video or talking about is shut down. The reason why we use Twitter data is that first. It is the second most popular social networking website after Facebook, with more than 8,500 tweets tweeted by users in just one second. Second, we can get access to the data by requesting a developer account. It's really easy process, and we can easily get the data. Third, it helps targeted marketing. It helps organizations to generate insights for promotion campaigns. The, uh, business development and others. Hello, everyone. My name is、uh, Rahul Rewani, and I am going to explain the design and methodology part of the project. So, to establish a smooth flow throughout the project, we have used a set of tools and technologies.、Uh, these tools and technologies、uh, include Apache Hadoop, Apache Flume, and Apache Hive. So before we begin, let's get acquainted with these terms and know what they mean. Apache Hadoop is a framework that allows distributed processing of large data sets with minimal programming.、Uh, next up is Apache Flume, which is a very reliable service used across the globe by the developers for streaming in real time data and transferring the data into Hadoop distributed file systems. Apache Hive is a data warehouse software which facilitates reading, writing, and managing large data sets using SQL. Moving on, let's try to understand the architecture or flow of the project. Firstly, using the Twitter API, we are going to collect all the Twitter data and load it into Flume. Flume. Uh, collects all the data in an unstructured format. Since Apache Flume receives all the data in unstructured format, Hadoop cannot process it, and it takes help of Apache Hive. Apache Hive, uh, Apache Hive, uh, processes the this unstructured data and converts it back back into a queryable structured format. Uh, and that is loaded into Hadoop. Hadoop then processes、uh, the data and produces、uh, final analyzed results,、uh, which is which is for which are further explained in the coming slides. As we、uh, as we as we as we stated that we have used、uh, Twitter API to collect、uh, the Twitter data, so we'll know. Uh, how to collect the Twitter data? So to to get that, you need to have a, a account on a normal account on Twitter dot com. If you don't,、uh, 
on twitter.com if you don't have one you can simply go on to this uh, website and create one thereafter you need to uh, request a developer account and once you submit your request you will be asked a set of questions and asked to go through a series of uh, f uh, processes uh, once you're approved once your request for the developer account is approved you will be given uh, access to twitter keys and tokens which is further explained by my teammates Nita Gupta. Hi everyone, this is Smita Gupta. I am going to talk about configuration of Apache Flume and preparing the data in Hive to do data analysis under demo setup. Flume is used for collecting data from Twitter API and moving to HDFS system. The main configuration is stored in its configuration file. It has three components, source, channel and sync. We define source as Twitter channel as memory which is like a passive store that keeps the data until it is consumed by our repository or sync which is sdfs in our case we then added the keys that were retrieved from twitter api and then run the flu which loaded the data in hadoop that we can verify on ui so here now we are going to show a short demo how Apache Flume is invoked and data is dumped to file system. Go to Hadoop UI, browse file system, click Cloud Era folder, you will see there is no folder under it. Then open terminal, invoke Flume using Twitter configuration file, then refresh directory, a new folder under, uh, with Twitter underscore data will appear. And then on clicking, you will see the Flume data files keep on creating with the Twitter data from API, which is in JSON format. Since Twitter data is semi-structured or unstructured and comes in JSON format, we need to translate it to a queryable format. So we used Hive Serializer and Deserializer interface to read Twitter JSON data and convert it into delimited row format. After that, we created an external table called Tweets that we use to store data in queryable format. To load Flume files into Tweets table, we invoked load path command in Hive Editor, which loaded the external table for further analysis. Hi everyone. My name is Shilpa and in today's video, I will be talking about data analysis part. Now let's jump straight to the data analysis slide. So now we have fetched all the data into our hive table. And from here we are going to analyze the data set which we have received. So for this, I will be showing a live demonstration on how we have fetched the details from the table so i will open my vm box where i am on the hive editor so i will just write the code so our table name is tweets so i will just run this query to fetch all the data from this table So here we see that we have received the tweets ID and the created date, the source of the tweet and uh, uh, tweets favorite uh, marked as true and false, tweet retweeted status and the some entities which is in a JSON format. Also we have received the tweet text what that is actually posted by the uh, users and the user details this contains of a uh, name of the screen name and the friends count followers and what are the total number of status and some of the details and next we have received uh, tweets in reply to the screen name so these are all the things which we have received under this section 
so moving to the next part of the data analysis we will be fetching the specific user details so for that we have written a query in which we have used the screen name of a particular user in this case we are just uh, getting the text and the user details and the tweets created time and the retweet, retweeted status from the default tweets table where the user dot screen name is to jazz for so here after executing this query we have got 18 results in which we can see the tweets of the user has been displayed over here and these are the further details of the user so that's how we have done the hello everyone my name is jessica and now we are going to look into challenges and limitation which we came across in this project firstly we came across the challenge number one was installation and configuration issue occurred in demo setup the first was the java version mismatched between flume and cloudera vm that is we have flume except 1.8 java version so we have to upgrade the new version uh, new version from 1.7 to 1.8 the hdf fs file system was not accessible after flume installation due to the change in environment variable third was the performance issue while querying the hive table and hive as we know the powerful tool for analyzing the data so it was very important that uh, you should know how to improve the performance of query when you are processing the petabytes of data then fine tuning of flume execution and loading data in external table still required then apache flume only connects with 1% of sample tweets using streaming api so it was very difficult to get the insights from the 1% of data and there were a lot of exhausted twitter connection uh, so there is a limit to the amount of time connection can be made with twitter api too many attempts from too many different applications can fail the application and it can stop the user from assessing the tweet so this all were the challenges and limitations which we came across from this project let's get to the next slide conclusion so the, uh, what we have analyzed from this project was big data technology using hadoop can be used to analyze the streaming data unstructured data can be converted to query able format and analyze the people tweet on particular or a popular topic and this generated the great insights and help in growing up the business and to target on which uh, market area in a, uh, it makes the business decision more uh, nice and the risk are reduced in this so while taking uh, this project we came uh, it's all about collecting the data from twitter api and then loading it in the tools like hadoop flume hive which were widely used for data collection and analysis so everything from installing and running the data in the application and analyzing uh, it we all have covered in this project so we came across different challenges which we discussed in our previous slides so apart from that there were other alternative technologies also like splunk uh, which paper trail which can be used to resolve the issues so fine tuning of flume and hive was required and with all the advancement and technology there is no looking back and all the issues can be determined efficiently so this was the whole project uh, based on the social networking site twitter analysis so we had um, we had come across a, a, the great analysis from this and that's all from our uh, project group thank you so much